Hello again, and welcome back to Card City Nights. It's right after I finished the last episode, and unfortunately you can't battle the excitable students anymore, so only certain people allow you to battle them over and over, like this loafer chick. And her cards ran out quite quickly. I might still be able to get the occasional rare or uh, uncommon card, but I'm not really too bothered about that. So let's just head in. Head inside, I mean. And, right, wait, hold on. I kind of wanted to try, if I talk to this chick and now click the... No. I thought maybe he was kind of blocking a coin in the clock, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Usually, it seems like most of the coins that are hidden will always be just where you can click on them during this screen or whatever. Yeah, nothing, so let's go. But here, let's click for some cards, or coins, I mean. Coin, coin, click all these cards, coin, this thing, the thing, the snake, come on snake, oh, no. This card, yep. His eye, no. This card, red hair. Sorry, I had to sneeze. This thing, lamp, door, handle, uh, glasses. Tooth, ear, nothing. I guess not. Okay, I think we're done. I think that's that's all the uh, the thingies, the coins. So let's talk to Mr. Skater Hip Dude. You'll want a good mix of attack, defend, and revive cards, unless you have an offense or defense-oriented strategy in mind. Yeah, okay. So you can, like I said, you can just go all of the cards and just focus on everything, but that's kind of unreliable, I feel, so I'm probably gonna lean towards a more often spaced deck. Maybe I should even try to make one right away, just just to see if I if I can. So basically just adding all of the offense and neutral cards that I can. Well, not all of them, but you know, I guess I'll add one of those. And a couple of revive cards, so things like this. Maybe one of those. And... Yeah, two of those. I can carver. It'll do. can only have one of those. Yeah. Sure, Jenny. Jenny. This guy. Two of each. Maybe, uh... Actually, yeah, let's take a pancake and then remove fish bun. So, just to have that in case, I need to. Three pinkmen. Oh, no, not a portal, portal wand. I don't want any defense. Where is it? Away. Uh, I'll take one stick. One robot elf. This guy. Turnip. Maybe two turnips. And I have 26 cards, so let's add one more of these. Kinda want more neutral cards, really. Still have... I already have two of those, yeah. Crystal, right. Right, we can add two crystals, because I only have attack cards, so this thing doesn't even come into play at all. And I think that's good. So, this is only attack, nothing else, and I guess this is good? Yeah, so let's have an attack icon on this, and let's try that out in some fight. It's probably not good. We probably could improve it a lot if we just get some more cards, but for now, let's try it. Some cards have two... Okay, so this is basically just Mr. Tutorial Guy. We can't play him, he'll just tell us things that we kind of already know. Some cards have two symbols on them. That makes them twice as effective at building chains. Thanks, guy. Got a card on the board that you want gone? Connect a double symbol card to it. Bam! Instant chain. Problem solved. Sure. Oh. Look for ways your card abilities can work together. Thanks, guy. Very helpful. Some cards have no symbols at all. They don't count towards the three symbols required to make a chain. Small boss is the best in the card club, but not by much. There's just a lack of good competition. I can't improve without battling someone better than me. Some cards have neutral symbols. They will still count towards building chains, but have no effect in themselves. 
disable your opponent's middle card, and they'll probably have to focus on reviving it as soon as possible. Even a super powerful attack can only disable one card. Sometimes it might be worth it. Bam! Sneak attack! Know what I'm saying? No, guy, I don't know what you're saying. Lofer has a bunch of idle heroes boosters. There are probably other people out there with different boosters. Excitable student asks for card matches sometimes. Not sure if she knows she's not a very good player. Certainly not card club material. There's a chance of getting rare cards and boosters. They're mostly pretty good. Cards with good abilities generally have less arrows. Some are just worse than others, though. If there's a card you really don't want disabled by your opponent, place it last with building a chain. They won't get a chance to attack it. There's only a few copies of the eight legendary out there. Legendaries, sorry. No problem, hip skater dude. Loafer comes here sometimes and stares at the candy in the cafeteria's vending machine. She can't afford it, though. I was thinking of getting her something, but I haven't gotten my allowance yet. You'll want a good... Okay, there we go. Looped it. Thanks, thanks, skater dude, for nothing. Ahem. If you want the legendary, you gotta earn it. Hey, newcomer. Ready to battle? I'm the boss, you know, so it doesn't matter that I'm just a kid. Well, wanna battle? Ahem, okay. And... yeah. Alright, there we go, let's battle! I'm warning you, my legendary card is pretty good! Shiloh vs. Small Boss! And let's go with the attack deck and see how that works out. Oh! New music! Sweet! Nice! I like this, so far. Alright, so... Wow, this is kind of a weird start, only one attack card, but let's do it. Mia, combo together with EG. Wait, EG? Wait, did Ludosity make EG? Are you serious, or did they like... Whoa, I'm... I'm like, my mind is blown, I love EG, EG is an amazing game. Holy shit. Are you... Are you serious? I could have sworn it was not them. Huh, that's very nice. You only die when forgotten. And if you combo her with EG, you get plus two defense gain. That's very good for a common card. If you have EG, I guess. Oh, but EG might only have the same arrows or something, so you have to combo another card as well to make it really difficult. That might be it. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just focus on disabling things, so... I mean, I guess I'll do this. Guardian from Hero. Oh, Tetron's personal bodyguard. Combo together with Cruiser Tetron, plus one defense game. So this chick is going all out defense, or maybe not, but it looks like it. And that's perfect, so let's do that, and let's disable this. EG. Yeah, okay, she can combo with Mia. Alright, and this is a revive card, revive combo, plus two defense, holy shit! So if you combo just these two cards, you'll gain four defense and revive a card. That is pretty, pretty crazy. And yeah, I had no idea they made e EG, or published it, or developed, I have no idea what they did. I need to look this up, that is really cool. I love EG, like I said. Yep. I trust you, I always have. Okay. So, let's grab this. I mean, I guess I'll just attack her right now, or... Nah, I'll disable this. Cybergrad. I should read this. Cybergrad. Damage owner 1. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. <laughs> okay, from Healthy Weapon.
Ah, oh, dang it. And I want to disable this again, I think. Hmm, I don't know if I have time, but I'll try. Nope. Dang it. So, I don't really want to disable anything at the moment, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Dang, she keeps comboing everything, and I don't have anything to disable when she does. I guess I'll just set up another chain, like, here. There we go. Dan, also from EG. I'm pretty sure, yep. What's done is done. Defense combo. Discard and replace your hand with the bottom cards in your deck. Huh. Why, why does it say bottom cards? Does that mean cards that, that you played? Or... I don't know, that just sounds kind of redundant if it's just random cards. So, yeah, now I'll just do this and disable that. Flip Hero DX, start of turn, revive a random disabled own card. Huh, okay. I have finally become your greatest hero from Hero. And he revived like this thing, I think? Which was kind of pointless, but okay. Oh no, start of turn, that's next turn. Hmm, yeah, that's bad. So... I guess I can gamble. Oh, snap! Suck it! Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. And she's done for. Oh my god, that was amazing. BAM! Opponent could not place a card. Yeah, it's worth- Oh, it's a best of three! Damn, didn't even see that. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna go for attack right now. Might be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, she's only going defense cards and trying to outlast me. So I should try to just disable her cards. That's what's gonna work, I think. Oh, there's that guy again. Huh, yeah, that's problematic. Damn. Well, I'll just start building up some combos, I think. Because there's no point using this combo with nothing to disable, so now... Yeah, I'll do this. I'm not gonna be able to out-damage her, for sure. Damn it! Oh, snap. Yeah, that's a lot of defense. Yeah, I'll just do this. Man, she's kind of annoying. She just combos everything so fast. Well, she's running out of cards, at least. She won't be able to combo anything now. 
and I guess I can remove the card as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, she's done. Well, actually, she does have, like, five cards left in her hand, so we're not clear yet. Uh, I guess I'll disable... Actually, I'm not afraid of her attacks, so I'll disable this. Opponent's health reached zero. You defeated small boss. Jam packed. And 50 coins. Okay. Lots of things. I got AG. Alright. I'm not sure I even want him. I don't have DJ yet. Unless that means Demon Jelly. Probably doesn't. Must. Mus Muscathulu! Wow, that took me a while, getting that. Ha ha ha. Photogen, baby. Start of turn. Move this card to a random position. Wow, that's interesting. From Space Hunk. Demon Jelly. Cannot be disabled. Placement. Discard one card from your own deck. Huh. That's not too bad. Just discarding one card if you have more cards than you need. Hype Snake. Cannot be rotated. Oh, also, this is from the game Magical Fisher Agnes. Cannot be rotated. Woo! Hype Snake! There's a game called Hype Snake. That sounds amazing. Hmm, beginner's luck. I don't believe it. Ugh. I suppose you want the card. Go on, take it. Flip Hero DX. Start of turn, revive a random, disabled own card. Okay. Hmm, I have to go get some more cards from the mall once I get my allowance. You should go there too. Might find some better cards. Alright, so... If I talk to her... I'm still the boss, you know. Sis doesn't want me to say some words, but I say them anyway. Wait, that's EG. Wait, is this Mia? Really? I don't know. I don't know why the card game's so popular, actually. B-ball cards are so much better. I never wanted that legendary you won anyways. I'm not mad, I'm thinking. I look like this when I think. Big Sis got me this dress, but there aren't any pockets big enough for my decks. I heard you look cooler when you cross your arms. Well, it's not working. Sometimes, excitable student stands behind me while I'm playing, then looks at my topmost card and returns it to my deck. It's super annoying! I don't have any more legendaries, that's the, the truth. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for talking. Really? Okay. Just practicing my arm crossing. She's been talking quite a bit, though. Hip Skater is su such a... Po... Po... Poser? I mean... Poseur? Is it French? Poseur. I don't know. He can't even skate. Big Sis is like my mom. I like, like her the most. Some cards are more expensive than others. Why is that? What the hell was that sound in the background? There's a whole bunch of different cards. Lots. I don't think I'll ever find them all. When people beat me in the card game, it's just because they're older. It's not fair. You don't mess with the family, got it? Tall Skater is my big sis, and she's pretty tall. I'm still the boss, you know. There we go, finally looped it. Okay. And this guy... Yeah. Finally! We're done! So, if I talk to these guys now... Oh! I heard Loafer got fried from her job. Or something like that. Loafer used to work with Fishbun Taming. Runs in her family. Cards with many arrows are the best. They don't have any complicated effects that are bothersome to read. I can read the card effects, of course. I go to school, you know. 
My friends are the greatest. George's cap was pretty expensive. I saved up my allowance to get it, just for him. Reep, reep. There are tons of different booster packs out there, like at least eight kinds. I've been out all night, but I'm not tired at all. Oh right, this is Card City Nights. It's like one night, all of this. School is out for the day. Most people in the card club are too busy playing to talk to me, though. Small Boss is nice when you get to know her. She's into basketball cards, too, but they're not popular around here. Sometimes I wonder about this card game craze. Like, where do the cards even come from? When I see people playing, I check out their topmost cards, read it, and then return it to their decks. It's super educational! Nothing gets to me, you know. Not even the rudest, meanie heads who pretend they don't want to talk to me. Brrr. Aw, oh, George, I can always count on you. How's your deck? Keep it sharp for the next big fight. George is my best friend, isn't that right, your George? Plubts. I'm not very good at the card game, but that's okay. I have my friends. I heard Loafer. Okay, there we go. And Loafer? Excitable student is, uh, not very popular. She doesn't seem to mind. I think I've read that. Yeah, okay. So, for now, I think I'm just gonna go into my deck. This one is probably gonna be my most reliable deck, at least for now. And yeah, we'll add Demon Jelly. Hmm... I guess I'll add this one. There's probably gonna be people who start trying to uh, disable a lot of your cards, I'd imagine. Oh, and yeah, if this card gets disabled, it's just a dead card. Well, I guess you can... Yeah, you ha you'll have to revive it, and then it can revive what it was originally supposed to revive. So I'll add the snake, and I'll add... Didn't I get something else? Uh... Thought I got some other attack card. I got Muscathulu, but... Yeah, I guess I'll take Muscathulu instead of Jenny Bird. Wait, why is Jenny Bird a, an uncommon and Muscathulu a common? I guess he's technically not as good. But... I mean, Muscathulu has all of the same arrows as she does, just one more, and the downside doesn't seem like much of a downside, to be honest. You can just place one card before placing this card, I feel. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for now, but really, I need more cards, I think. Just having a lot of cards that I can reliably combo with pretty much anything I draw, so I can always keep the pressure up. So, now, uh, I guess I'm going to end it off for today, but now, yes, we've unlocked the mall, and we've unlocked the cave from talking to... Who did mention the cave? Who mentioned the cave? It was something about someone having a legendary card in the cave. Was it Loafer? It might have been Loafer. No, wait, it was Little Dude, I think. So, we might go to the cave, we might go to the mall, I think cave first, probably, maybe. I don't know. But, for now, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!